guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a YouTube video on how I wax my eyebrows. And um, there's a few, my, well my mum used to do my eyebrows for me before, but I've been doing my eyebrows for about eight years now. And um, so I use a few things. So I use these feet wax strips, my straighteners to heat them up, and I clip my hair back so I use clips. And I always make sure my eyebrows are clean beforehand, so I use um, micellar water. This is not a sponsored video as well. <laughs> um, yeah, so just to start off, I'm going to use some micellar water on my face. Um, you can use any cleanser, you can use face wipes, or just wash your face with some water. I've really washed my face with some water, but at the moment my face is quite oily, and I'm having a bit of a breakout with my spots. So I just want to make sure my eyebrows are extra clean before I start on them. There we go. Give my face a bit of a clean as well. <laughs> the next thing I do is that I get the clips and I will just clip my hair back because um, as you might know, I don't know if you had them waxed, um, but your it's very sticky and you don't want to get any of that in your hair. So I kind of look like this right now. Um, so these are the wax strips. I've not opened the box yet, um, but I get this box every time, or I'll get the little version of this box. You can buy it in Boots, Superdrug, uh, Tesco's, quite a lot of shops sell these wax strips. Um, and in them, these are the, like the, they say body and legs, but because these are, they have the smaller ones, you don't really get as much for your money, whereas the, the longer ones, they still have the same sort of quality of wax. Um, but it's just a uh, longer strip, so you can cut it into the size you want, cut it into the shape you want. Whereas with the smaller ones, I have tried them a few times, I don't really like them as much because I can't really cut them into the angles I want. But if you aren't really confident in that, then I'd suggest that you just buy the pre-made ones. But with this, uh, the cut strips, you want to make sure you have, when you cut the strips, you want to make sure you have good scissors. And um, these are quite good, they're quite sharp. Or you could use these ones. These are like my always go to, <laughs> quite old. They're probably about like 10, 12 years old now. So when you cut the wax strip, you literally, I think I'll use these ones because these are quite sharp and they're also longer, so it will fit. Um, but I'll always cut this bit first. There we go. And then I'll cut them into strips about this size. Depends where I'm waxing. I'll be waxing my, they're just falling on the floor. Usually I'll do it a bit lower to the floor. And usually about one of these strips will do. Whereas if you was using the other wax strips, the smaller ones that are pre-made for you, um, which are also V, um, you will find that you will need more of them. And I think you get about 16 or 20 of them in the pack. Whereas with these, you have 20 wax strips, and they're obviously longer, so they will last longer as well. I don't know if I'll need all the ones that I've cut, but we'll give it a go. Sorry about any of the noises, I've turned autofocus on. Um, I will be getting a new camera eventually. Um, by the way, that's not a hair, that's like a birthmark that I got when I was younger. Um, well, I was born with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll just show you how I do. So, I literally have my wax strip. I'll cut it in half, so I've cut them into long strips already. I'll cut them in half, just like that. So it's half the size, and then that will be the area. This is the area you, you wouldn't uh, wax from. This will be your area where you will do your pulling. As you can see, this is the area where you do your pulling from. So first, you just got to heat. Then it comes off really easily. And you look at the area where you need to do it. So obviously like I need these areas done because they're getting quite bad. <laughs> oh dear. Then you tap and then you literally just pull really fast. You've got some hair on there. Don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see how oh, good the focus is working. <laughs> um so I'll just put the wax strip once it's done onto the tissue and then we also have this one and I always try and make sure it's symmetrical on both sides um, it is good to have your eyebrows try it kind of looking like twins but um, mine kind of look a bit like sisters and pull and there wasn't really that much that came off that one 
Oh. I'll just do the same again with the other bit of the cut strip. I'll heat it up for another one, two, three, four, five. Literally just five seconds. I have my heat, uh, my straighteners on 230 degrees, the Remington ones. They are really good straighteners. Um, I've had GHDs in the past, but I just don't find, because I've got really thick, long hair, um, I find that the Remingtons work a bit better. So, I'm literally just using the camera. I've never done this before. Actually, no, I did. The last time I did, <laughs> Um, an eyebrow video, it was really bad. I had like an extra sound uh, compartment that I brought, but obviously it was a bit old. And um, see, so that's just pulled off there and I'll do the same to the other side. Yeah, so the last time I did it, I've recorded the whole video, it was about half an hour, and in the end, it didn't even save. Uh, well, it saved, but the, I played it back and it was literally mute the whole time <laughs> because I didn't plug in the sound compartment properly. Um, so I had to wait a whole nother month to record this video for my eyebrows to grow out finally. <laughs> um, so that's that. There was only really much hair on that one. So I'll be doing the same again to this strip. I'd also say you don't have to heat too high when you wax your eyebrows. Um, because when the heat is too high it can burn. The skin under there is really sensitive. So I'll just do um, this area now. And I'll do the same on the other side. There we go. And I tap, 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 tap. <laughs> you have to literally just tap just so all the wax can get into all the follicles. And um, that's why it's also good to clean your face beforehand because if you've got a greasy face, it is harder for your um, the, the wax to seep into the skin. Um, so I've got a bit of hair come off there. I don't know if you can really see, but it's working. Well, then we do in these areas because I have had quite a bit of hair regrow through there. And I also find these areas here you want thinner strips because the mirrors are a bit more delicate and you don't want to accidentally rip off like half your eyebrows. So, um, yep, so I'll be doing the same thing again. These scissors aren't as good as what I thought they were anymore, so I'll be using the yellow ones because they're sharper, so they cut them better. And it's just very fine like that and that's what we want so i'm going to warm up the strip again i'm just going to put this now on the side where i've got the hair i've got quite a few video ideas and content ideas that i've like accumulated um, it's just always the confidence of starting and doing a YouTube video. I have a vlog that I've already done. I took my boyfriend to um, Disney for his birthday and it was like a surprise. So I want to try and, that's been edited already. So I might try and get that up before this video comes out. Um, but I want to try and get my channel, make my channel and just start having everything in one place. Because um, I'm the type of person that will make a video and then be like, oh no, that's not good. Um, see? All done. And that side's done too. Um, I'm the type of person that will make a video and procrastinate on it and think, mm, no, maybe that's not good. But I want to have my videos out there so that I can like maybe help someone. And also I like to look back on my memories. Um, like that's what I love about all these other YouTubers is they will have so many memories to look back on. I think so many people should like record their life experiences, but then also I guess some people don't want to for like personal reasons. Um, they might not want to show everything going on in their life. Um, so that side's been done. The tops have been done on both sides. Now it's the underneath part. Shouldn't really be doing it like this. I need like a mirror or something in front of me. And then just for this one, I'm going to try and brush my hairs up like that so none of them get stuck in. There we go. These are the bits that will hurt a bit more. But if you taut your skin and make it tighter, um, it shouldn't hurt as much. Here we go. I'm going to pull it. You see the thin bit I said about earlier? This is the thin part that you will pull it from. Um, when I was in school, obviously, I only had like... £30. I'm from England, so um, pounds is the currency that we use. But you have like £30 
um, I got £30 pocket money a week, a month. So I'd always like make sure I'd have one of these. And it would last me about three months, this whole thing, or four months, quite a while. And you can use it on other parts of your body, like your legs, your arms, um, your armpits, like wherever. But I always found that this was about £6 and you can get it on offer sometimes in like super jug and boots. Um, but I always found that this was a good one to get because... You could, it saved me having to go to like a shop and buy it out of my pocket money. I could just buy one of these because when you go to the shop, it's quite it's about ten pound or um, depends really what shop you go to. But eight to ten pound. Some shops do for six pound. But I just found when you buy it yourself, you save money, and also you can get it the way you want. Kind of know the outlines and styles that you want. Um, and this might not be everyone's favourite style, but for me, I've had this style for quite a few years now. Before. I should find the pictures but my mum has had my eyebrows looking awful like they used to be really thin and um, this area used to be like cut off a bit she was good at times like she did do a good job and sometimes because she wears glasses if she like forgot her glasses then my eyebrows weren't good and I didn't really know about eyebrow pencils back then so I'd go to school and use my mum's red lipstick liner and literally I have to fill that in with my eyebrow <laughs> um so yeah so it wasn't really that great but I guess these days you can draw your eyebrows in some people like my mum's recently just had her eyebrows um, microbladed um which should look really nice now it's just over looking everything and making sure oh I have to do this area so one there and then the other one go there that so it's literally you heat you get your straightener put the wax strip for about five seconds heat it up once it's hot but not too hot put it on your face tap 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 <laughs> just hurt my eye tap 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 and then you pull it off really fast and you can talk your face to make it some people would say this is better when you talk your face oh dear got one and then The other one. That was quite a lot of hair that came off there. I find these areas have a lot more hair than most of the other areas. My eyebrows are pretty much done now. And um, the next thing I would do is that I would use the scissors to trim them. And when you do that, you have to be super careful. I'm really thin, but can you see where the hair is a bit overgrown? You can use an eyebrow brush. Um, and if you lift all your eyebrow hairs up, depends if you want them thick or thin, but if you want them to be thinner, like the actual brow, you would lift them up like that and, and kind of give them a trim throughout. I'll give these a rough little trim, but they don't necessarily... There we go. If you can see. Um, oh, look. Perfect. Once you're done, they provide you with these wax strips. But the thing is, with the when you have the bigger ones, when you get the smaller ones, you'll get four of these oily wax strips called the Perfect Finish. As you can see, Perfect Finish. You'll literally just open the top of the, top of the tab, and then you pull it out, and you'll wipe all the excess oil off and it's quite oily as you can see quite oily and I do like that to sit on for a little while um, and then once you're done I'd say do the same steps where you'll get your face pads and your micellar water and you'll just wipe it off once you're all done and once you think that the oil and everything's all seeped off properly here we go so one my face looks quite weirdly now <laughs> um, but yeah so I hope you enjoyed the video and um, 
I'll be having more content come through soon. I'll be going to Florida in Disney next weekend. So I want to try and record as much as I can out there. Like the food that I eat, the places we go. It'll be me and my boyfriend going out there. Um, yeah, so we'll be going for two weeks. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I'll do like a little tour of our hotel and give you like a review. And it'll just be so nice to look back on these videos and have them all in one place and be able to share my experiences with everyone else. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching the video. Sorry if it's not exactly your type of thing. I will produce other content as well. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a nice day. Bye!